I'm an artist and well, uh, I believe I'm the greatest. Like and subscribe for more content. I'm back. No, for real though, man. I know y'all been waiting for me to come back forever, man. I'm back. You know, I came up with the uh, intro video just because I know YouTube finna get spooky that I'm back. I know, I know people finna be spooked. It's alright though. So anyways, I'm starting off with a good wash, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you give your clients a good wash before the service. It'll definitely make it easier for you. You know what I'm saying? It will definitely make it easier. Okay, right here, I'm making sure I brush the hair in the direction that it grows to make sure everything cuts smooth. Right here, I'm using my Fade Masters with a number one guard on, making sure I cut everything down nice and smooth. Since we're doing a high fade, I like to do the ball guideline kind of medium, just so I have room to, you know, gotta have room to finesse the fade you don't want to go too high and leave yourself with a little bit of room I grab my senior babies, you know, these are my babies, I love fading with them, you know what I'm saying, they, 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 it's a machine, man, it's a machine, so we're gonna do lever all the way open and go up about an inch, you know, I'm not really too precise, so I'm going up exactly an inch, you know, I like to just flow, you know what I'm saying, go up a good amount, and then I'm gonna go halfway, and then I'm gonna go fully closed, and you will see me do that in a few also, feel free to let me know what's y'all favorite clippers to fade with, you know what I'm saying? I'm in between a few clippers, you know what I'm saying? I'm indecisive. I love a lot of clippers right now, man. So let me know what's y'all top three lineup, man. As you can see, I flick out, but my flick out motion isn't too exaggerated. You know, I like to just flow. You know, I don't I don't really overthink it too much because I believe whatever mistake I make, I can fix. So I just flow, you know, and just try to tap the line. Here I grab my one and a half guard. I opened it up all the way. I'm playing it safe just since I'm recording a video, but usually I would have hopped straight in, closed one and a half. But as you see, the one and a half open is taking it down a little bit. So okay, right here I close up my one and a half guard all the way, <laughs> and I'm basically going up the same amount. You know, it's not as noticeable, but I am flicking out a little bit halfway through there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not as exaggerated with my motion, so you probably don't notice, but I like to just just keep it smooth. Don't overthink it. Don't, you know, go exactly up a half. Just smoothing things out to your liking. Okay, now we're going to grab the one guard. I love these red one guards. I think they're for the Rebels, I think. But I love, I love it. I love Stylecraft um, guards with my walls. Anyways, we're going to um, flick out at that line. You know, just softening it up, making it easier. Some people will go straight in with the zero. It's all up to your preference. I like to walk it down from a one and a half all the way down to a uh, no guard open. So that's my fade down method. Right here, I'm gonna close it up halfway, not all the way, just halfway, 
just to continue softening up this line and then we will fully close it after we soften it up a little more fully closed now and we're going to continue to attack that line Right here, I'm stretching the skin. I like this technique because I, I feel like it helped me cut closer. You know, I feel like it helped me just, you know, get that more smooth butter effect. Right here, I'm grabbing my zero guard, which is my favorite guard, and I'm gonna just go halfway. You know, some people can go fully closed, but I like to soften it up, going halfway to fully closed. It helps add another transition, in my opinion. Here I'm grabbing my Fade Masters, which are my, you know, these are my babies. You know, these finish up the deal, you know, just go real nice and slow and smooth. Clean up any lines you see. These are my babies. I mean, what can I say? I love them. If this video helped you in any type of way, please leave a like and comment for me. Just to let me know y'all tapped in. Just to let me know y'all support me, man. I'm about to make a comeback on YouTube. I'm ready. I'm excited. As, just as much as y'all are. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Just let me know y'all are here with me. I feel like I'm going to have the most in-depth tutorials on YouTube. You know, my way of cutting is different. You know, my way of cutting, I have my own style. I feel like... I should really, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say too much, but I'm just gonna let my work show itself. Right here, I'm using my corners, just detailing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just putting that finished touch on it. I love to clean up with my Fade Masters. You have to, if you, you know what I'm saying? I charge what I charge because my detail work is immaculate. Right here, we're gonna work on the beard. I'm gonna go all the way open, then I'm gonna go halfway, then I'm gonna go fully closed, just knocking out that top line. And then I'm gonna throw one guard on, you know, and y'all will see.
Okay, now it's time to bring this whole thing together with the lineup. And I'm going to just say this. I realize a lot of barbers, even with head <laughs> shapes like these, they tend to go up in the corner and it give it a weird look, especially from the front. So you want to make sure you analyze the forehead shape. And this client, his forehead goes downwards on the edges. He don't have straight up 90 degree angles. And you don't want to do that because it would be considered a pushback and it would make his forehead look weird. So you want to angle it down like I'm doing here. And you will see how I do the corner just perfectly for his forehead. I do every client, you know, specifically. I don't, you know, it's not one hairline fits all. So you want to make sure you take your time. Now we're gonna work on this beard. Uh, I, I love to use a exposed razor just because it helped me detail a little bit more in the corners. So I like to keep my razor exposed and more out. Uh, I like to take my time, you know, make sure I get that nice shape. You know, it's no rush, take your time. Not to be cocky or anything, but I don't feel like nobody doing it like this, man. Just to be all the way honest, look at that perfect shape. You know, it fits my client face. You know, it's perfect. It's natural. It's raw. It's uncut, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to start by making content for y'all. I hope y'all can learn something. I hope y'all can truly learn about true detail and learn why, you know, I'm so highly looked upon and, you know, respected in the barber game. And now I'm here to take the crown on for YouTube. So yeah, let's get it. Right here, I'm gonna do a little bit of enhancements. As you see, this don't need enhancement at all. It's sharp, it's natural. And, you know, I'm gonna enhance it without using black spray or a topic. I'm just gonna use the pencil just because I feel like that's the perfect enhance that he needs. You know, he don't need too much, you know, so just a light pencil. And this is, is gonna take that cut to the next level. This is true perfection. This is true perfection at its finest. I haven't seen a fade this clean on YouTube. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Cleanest fade on YouTube, and that might be the caption. Yeah! I'm with all the smoke, baby, let's get it. All right, so this was the before. As you can see, looking scruffy, and this is the after, baby. Let's get it. I'm back. YouTube, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content. Let's get it. Cashy Takeover 2022. Yeah!